Yeah. Right, Steve, Jamie, thank you for talking to us. It was a great result today, Steve, but now we enter the match. They did really well first half to get in front and uh, obviously a bad penalty. Duffy was a penalty uh, and then got 3-1, two great finishes from Jay today, brilliant. Uh, second half, we said at half time, if we come out 3-1 and we and we come off at 90 minutes for 3-1, we'll be happy. But we sort of let them back in the game a little bit, um, didn't keep their shape, uh, went a little bit gun trying to get another goal. Um, and then they scored, and then as you can see, once you get the second one, they're up for it, and they and they could have they could have nicked the equaliser. But we've hung on. It's great. It's number three points for us. It's good. Yeah, it puts us in a good place for next Saturday. Mm -hmm. Cup. You mentioned Jamie's goals. Are you going to start shooting with the outside of your right foot more often? <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm not good with my left. Foot, so I've perfected shooting with the outside of my right. Um, nah, I mean you know me long enough now. I, I try shots from in different angles and. It's no different today, and thankfully I caught it perfectly, and it flew in and lobbed over the keeper. So, yeah, I mean I've always been that type of player. I try different things, and sometimes they come off, sometimes they go in the stand. But if you don't buy a ticket, as they say, then you never know. So I was pleased today. Yeah. Quick word on your on your strike partner, mm. Sammy. He seems to link up really well. Yeah, he's he's a handful. Real big problem. Uh, understands the game, so even when I'm flicking inside, he's always there as a, as a face. I think he buys his time, which probably haven't had where he holds it up, he either gets fouled or he keeps the ball and dribbles around and it allows the team to come up the field and um, in the two games he's, he's been, he's been outstanding. Both goals have come from his flicks, you know, I, I, I know I can run because you see he wins most things, so it's easy for me to gamble because there's not many times like he doesn't win it. Um, so he's come in, he's come from a broken leg, he was meant to come in pre-season with us, he got run over, broke his leg and he's kept in contact with Steve and fair play to Steve, he, he said to him, look, you know, I'm fit now, I'm ready to go. We've brought him in and, like I say, in the two games he's been outstanding and the boys are buzzing off him and I think it's given everyone a bit of a lift after you know the two defeats we had. Um, he's come in and he's given everyone a lift, he's, he's a top lad and um, yeah, he's not even fit yet, which is the good thing, so there's a lot more to come from him. Yeah, Steve, anything to add about what you've seen from him so far? I oh, know, I've, I've had him before, I've had him before, so I know what he's capable of. Um, and he's not, as Jason, he's not fully fit yet, he's a, he's a good player. Mm -hmm. He's a good player and, you know, if you beat him and... We've got a good side, we've got a good side, we're strong. Uh, we've got another signing coming in, which I'm not going to tell you about yet because it's not done, but um, another exciting player coming in, which will make us even stronger. So I think we're in a good place. Um, his first goal, if that had been on match of the day tonight and Rashford had scored it, they'd show it and show it and show it and show it and show it because that was quality. Mm -hmm. That was quality. Two I'll, quality. Let, I'll let you lot do that, you should be showing it. Two, uh, two quality finishes. So. Yeah. 44 this week, 44 yeah. Wednesday. And, uh, Celebrate my birthday. Well, yeah, two right. great goals. Could have scored, to be fair. Should have got, got, I'll the, say one three. One you can't run, and then the one yeah. you hit first time. And so, I think that's the thing, I'll go on being more disappointed about the two I've missed. Mm. Yeah. As good as that they were, I know I probably, I should have took three out of the game today, so I, how I am with myself, I'll go home and be fuming that yeah. I've not scored one more. Yeah. So well, it's, you know, we, uh, like we take it, it's, yeah. it's three points, like we said. I think with the run, the two games you had, we didn't play well and got a bit of a beating. Shows great character that we, we've come back now, and I think in both games, Foley deserves to win both of them. And it shows the, the sort of group we've got in there, they stick together, they, they listen to Steve and myself. Um, and now we've got two good wins, so the month in the end for being could have been catastrophic. I think we've come out at the end of the month decent because I think it's been a tough month for us, yeah. um, and I think we've ended up with nine points. I'll so. two points a game, we get two points a game, we'll be there or thereabouts, either win it or definitely playoffs. I think we've got nine from five now, so we're one point off. So after the two defeats, we come back well. Yeah. I think with this squad, we're more than capable. If everyone stays fit, we'll be there and thereabouts, that's for sure. It was a, a new system we saw at Kingstonia Monday and today. Well, not really, it's just 4 4 2. We'd, we'd play three at the back against mm -hmm. Carl Shorten and Enfield because we played it in pre season and it worked for us. But I think a lot of that, probably the Enfield game, was the wrong personnel playing in their positions, which didn't help. Um, but as I said the other day, you have to hold your hands up. I've said it in the programme notes today. You know, you've got to take it sometimes, mm. and I think we got it wrong, you know, in them two games. But we've changed it, we've come back, mm -hmm. and, we've, and we've got two wins on the bounce. And 
we go again. And I think, you know, did we see how, how important in the second half how important Sam Robbins is because we missed him in the second half? Yeah, he's great. He's a good player, Sam. He's a good player. But hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully he'll be fit for the cup game next Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and speaking of that, have you how much research have you done? Do you know much about our opponents, Dunstable Town? <coughs> not really. Not really. <laughs> I mean, I know they're two leagues lower than us. It'll be a tough game. FA Cup. It doesn't matter who you play, it's, a, it's an FA Cup game on the day. It'll be, I'm sure they'll be up for it. It's a you know, big sort of prize at the end of it, really. Um, we need to win. We need to win. We need to get a couple of, for a couple of rounds. And we're capable of doing that. But if we don't go there in the right frame of mind, we, you, you can get rolled over. If we go there and apply ourselves like we can and like we should do, we'll get the result. But yeah. if, uh, if we go there and just think we're going to turn up and win, then it could be a different story. Yeah. So, but we'll, we'll be well prepared on the game. And lastly, with you, Jamie, I saw on Twitter there was videos of you back in the day with green hair playing for Norwich. Is there any chance you're going to dye your hair blue when you reach a certain milestone for us? Um, do you know what? How stupid is that? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, from when I did it, I did it at 19, and every club I joined after that, it was always brought up. But. Um, I thought I'd done it once and that was it. So, you know, I would imagine this is going to be my last club I, I play for. So, um, you never know. I might throw a bit of blue and white in at some point. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Cheers, guys. No problem. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers, mate.